So Exchange performance is poor, and you suspect it might be the mailbox database. Or at least the mailbox database is one thing you'd like to tick off your list as potential problems. Remember, lots can be going wrong with our Exchange implementation, like we could have the failure of a storage device, we could have memory exhaustion, low disk space, or we could be experiencing a high load. How are we going to track down exactly where the poor performance is? We're going to use tools that are provided for us inside of Microsoft Server. Here you can see I've logged into my lab exchange server and I have done a search for Event Viewer. The Event Viewer is that great, great notification application that's going to provide us with event notifications regarding exchange server. You would find these in the Event Viewer Windows Logs application area, for example, and to generate some logging information after right-clicking and clearing the log, to generate info, I restarted the Information Store service for Exchange. So we can see the notifications that result in here and notice there was an error. We would certainly want to be checking for errors if we suspect database performance. And in this case, I realized that this performance counter triggered a threshold because of my restart of the service. So this would be something we could safely ignore. But this is the type of information you want to be checking in the event viewer, of course. But the issue we have with Event Viewer is it is giving us post-mortem information. Oh, something died. Oh, there's an error because something has died. We really want to be proactive when it comes to troubleshooting and performance metrics. So Performance Monitor inside server is the tool that you would want to consider for this. More proactive monitoring of metrics. Something else that you should do is you should make sure that you build a baseline. And the performance monitor is a great tool for building a baseline. This is taking a look at database performance when things are normal and operationally typical. So we come in and we take a look at the counters and we track their values when everything's totally normal. This picture of normal and great performance is critical because we can compare it against what might be happening right now when there are performance issues and we can see how far above or below that baseline certain counters have gone. After all, how can you tell that performance is abnormal if you don't know what normal performance looks like? Now the challenge with Performance Monitor is they give us so many counters it can be overwhelming as to what exactly we want to monitor. So let me give you some guidelines for that in this nugget. For database mailbox performance, we have under the MS Exchange group of counters in here, we have the mailbox database area and notice I have this instances option. So I'm going to monitor the mailbox database for all instances, put this data into the performance monitor. Now, once again, it's a bit overwhelming as to all of the specific metric components that we can see. So I'll come down here and I'll do a control A to select them all. I'll right click and I'll hide all of these selected counters. And now we can go after those that I'm going to give you good parameters on. One of them would be IO database reads for our attached instances. So let's find that right here. IO database reads for our attached instances and we would want to look at average latency. This value should be less than 20 milliseconds on average and with my very, very unbusy little lab server here, we can see we're not even registering any right now, but this would be a great database counter that we should look at. And again, less than 20 milliseconds on average would indicate great performance. Here is my list of the metrics in this topic area that we would be interested in. And this is the one I demonstrated where we're looking at the IO database reads for our attached instances, average latency, 
And as I said, we want that to be less than 20 milliseconds. There are other important metrics you would want to examine here, including taking a look at the transaction log write performance. Now, no need to frantically note take here. I have created a text file for you called troubleshoot mailbox database performance.txt. It's in the supplemental files for you to download, and it contains this information. These specific performance counters should serve you well as you're tracking down the issues that might be related to mailbox database performance. And keep in mind too that you would want to use tools like the event viewer and performance monitor to look at the health of the exchange server itself. So don't forget to take more of a macro view as well. We don't want to zero down into something like the mailbox database performance before looking at the overall server health. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.